Good stuff. Alright, welcome back to Shadow the Hedgehog. Uh, last playthrough we did um, the pure hero route with um, uh, Jason, Jason and Nick. And today we're going through the sem semi dark playthrough and we have a good old scrappy do with us today. I'm being held hostage. <laughs> oh, so you're here with this amazing game, clearly. Cause so, <laughs> for, for context, for people who watch this in like a month or something when this comes out, um, literally the day before this, we talked about Sword Art Online Season 2, which already has a lot of generic like gun stuff going on. So we're going from that to this immediately. So, remembering thing. yeah. Who is this Maria? The cutscenes are nice. Yeah. For what it's worth, I think the I think the um the animations are actually kind of decent for sick gen. Whatever issues the Sonic games of the 2000s had, the pre-rendered cutscenes were not one of them. Yeah, even like 06, like the CG cutscenes and that were really good. Like the last generation where we got like a ton of pre-rendered stuff for the cutscenes before they started just using an engine for everything. Yeah. What are you talking? I miss them, but on the other hand, we don't have to notice the huge discrepancy between cutscene and gameplay anymore. I suppose so. I, I would like to see more CG stuff. Like, uh, they aren't really there that much in recent Sonic games. They like, Lost World had what well, generations had like CG trailers, but nothing in the main game really. Um, and Lost World had like a really short opening, and that was it. Uh, so I, I don't know, I'd like to see some cool CG cutscenes again. <laughs> uh, so do you have any experience with this game? No. Oh, okay, what, what, what do you know about it? It's a game that some people consider worse to be Consider it to be worse than 06, depending on who you ask. Yeah, I I don't agree agree with that claim personally. I can I can understand where it comes from, but yeah. <laughs> so one thing I will give 06 is that uh, it doesn't have the weird mission structure. A lot of the levels are just get to the end. Um, my issue is just the fact that, like, the game itself is just inherently really boring to me. Um, and since this, since this game runs on the Heroes engine, I can enjoy it on a base level. And um, the actual gameplay, I think, works fine. Um, a lot of it is just down to the missions. Um, they aren't all bad, but when you're doing stuff like this where you, you're forced to kill all the gun soldiers, um, it's not great, and unfortunately a lot- a good chunk of the missions are like this. This cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord. Um... So what's your- how do, what do you think about, uh, Shadow just as a character, I guess? Fine for the most part, and this is not his best showing though. No. <laughs> Being all this gameplay with like no context for the hero story, so I'm just. <laughs> I'm just going full on murder this game. Yeah. Some good stuff. Just 
gonna love how like... I think this game is E10+, plus, honestly. Yeah. Go, go love how like they um, originally planned Shadow to uh, die in SA2, and then they bring him back for like the most edgy game. Because we need this apparently. Then Bomberman and Axe Zero we like back to the back. Yeah. It's time to be alive. What is with this era and like a bunch of like um. Uh, dark, dark, like, mascot platformers and, and whatnot. Was well, the generation right after Metal Gear Solid came out and redefined the industry of its storytelling, and then it's the generation that Grand Theft Auto really broke out, and now everyone has to have guns. Yeah. The open world. And, and have like, guns. And, like, uh, and Jack who also has to, like, um, what is it? Um, be inspired by GTA as well. It's a, it's a weird, this is a weird time. There we go. Death to all who oppose me. Such a nuanced character. Anybody who gets yeah. in my way is my enemy. Yeah, weird flying starfish thing. <laughs> Perfect. It's an evil wisp. Yeah. yeah. At least it's not uh, like Starmy getting abused or something. That makes no con. That makes no sense. <laughs> Our audience doesn't have context for that. <laughs> I mean, I know, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> the black aliens have hit six major cities around the world, and every city is reporting significant damage and casualties. Among them, Westopolis has received the heaviest casualties due to its weakened defense system. Downtown Westopolis has been almost completely destroyed. Unconfirmed sources have also reported seeing a black hedgehog in Westopolis. Shadow? Now the reports can actually tell the color of hedgehogs. Yeah. And if you find Shadow with the black aliens, then kill them all. But sir, isn't Shadow on our side? I gave you an order, soldier. He's evil and he's the enemy. You can't fool me, Shadow. This time, you're mine. Oh man. Attention! Emergency broadcast to all mobile units. Headquarters to all mobile units. All points bulletin. Be on the lookout for Shadow, the Black Hedgehog. Wanted in connection with the terror. Did I emphasize that? Yeah. In the vicinity of downtown Westopolis. They're learning. Capture <laughs> him. Dead or alive. Out of my way. Coming through. Shoot. It's, it's a bit too late for that. <laughs> Who are you? God, that looked so awkward. <laughs> So thankfully this stage is actually kind of colourful. This is one of the better stages in the game. Peeking that early, huh? Um... What is this sensation? I'm not sure about that. I do think there are some... I do think there are a good chunk of legitimately pretty good stages in this game. And um... With some glaring exceptions, I don't think the level design in this game is bad. Um, 
Some of it is a little bit generic sometimes, but there are some moments of brilliance here. Like, I genuinely think this level is pretty good. Um, it's like, you don't really see cyberspace stuff in Sonic that often, so this is- Oh god, that was Damn, good. Not here. What is this sensation? Yeah, you don't usually see cyberspace stuff in Sonic, so this is kind of cool. I see. I can control which way this leads. This thing is Luigi Pinball right now. Yeah, a little bit. A lot of Luigi Pinball. Uh, speaking of Mario Kart, um, do you, how would you feel, how would you feel for like the next game just being like a Nintendo Kart crossover or something? We don't even have Pauline playable on a console Mario Kart yet, we need to... <laughs> I suppose. But it, Nintendo Kart won't be as cool as people say it. Think it will be. It. You're not gonna get an obscure character like Ness. You're gonna get Baby Link and Baby Zelda. Probably. That would that would be disappointing. I like the idea of it in concept. Like All Stars Racing Transformed is one of my favorite racing games and uh, the crossover aspect is like a big part of that um how is rouge here uh I, I don't know i i don't know how anyone's supposed to get in here without getting warped so you could guess as good as mine your guess is as good as mine and she's working for gun does she works for gun doesn't she how is she even involved in this right now uh she's Protecting the M castle mode apparently. So apparently a castle mode can just be stuck in cyberspace. I guess. It can be stuck inside of people's Sonic characters' backside, so I guess that makes sense. Yes. I mean, the funny thing is that the, the, the emeralds in this game are just kind of anywhere they want, depending on what stages you, you go to, so... There's like no consistency. I almost kind of commend them from trying to make an edgy spin off, but all the regular Sonic characters are still in this game. Yeah. Including the Chaotix. Yeah, like. And they're plot relevant too. <laughs> yeah, like some of the most goofy characters, and then like in the most edgy game in the series. To be frankly honest, Sonic 06 kind of suffered without having Cream or Big of the Chaotix in it. A little bit. That, that's kind it's of funny, like, yeah. Just really... Everyone's just dour. Yeah, I think... I think what makes this... the... the, the um... story in this game more entertaining is because there's, like, characters like the Chaotix and whatnot to try and... I guess, ease the, the uh, seriousness a little bit, and there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a type of charm, I guess, um, where it's so over the top that it's just kind of funny, um, whereas 06 is just, it's like, it's super serious, and there's like no fun to be had in it, like, there's no... Characters like the Chaotix that just are good comic relief to kind of give you like a time to relax or anything. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's the intent of having them in this game, but it works, I guess, so. Take it back, this level's pretty fun looking. Yeah. Almost as if I should have formed my own opinion and played the game myself. <laughs> yeah, I... It's one of those things where going back to this game versus 06, where... Again, in, on, some, on some levels I can... I can understand the, the um, 
the Prefer 06 to this, um, but it just go, coming back to the level design, I just I just think there's more to enjoy in this in this game, in terms in ju just in terms of what what there is to just play, I guess. Because like even in, I feel like even in 06's best like best stages, it's still not the most fun, and I'd still rather play um, most like a good chunk of stages in this game before that. The opinions. I mean, I think it's generally consensus that this game is better. Like a, the only person I've heard say that is like. Some call me Johnny, and that's mm. even he admits that's kind of an unpopular opinion. Mm. Well, I, I do know that there, there, there is a, a group of people that do prefer sex. That's fine. Like I get it, and I do. I don't. I'm not one of those people who thinks 06 is like. Um, the I don't think there's. Like, I, I'm not one of those people who thinks there's nothing good about it, or there's nothing salvageable about it. Um, but I do think overall that this game has more strengths, overall. Six would be a lot more fondly remembered if they could get a proper PC release. Yeah. If they, like, retooled the story completely, made the level design more engaging, fixed bugs and all that and loading screens, and just generally just made it a video game, um, it could probably stand out as, like, a legit SA3. But, yeah, it's not the world we live in. I'm sorry, Sock 06 on Steam? Hmm? Sonic 06 on Steam? No, not to my knowledge. That, they say anything to get on that, like, I want to see what modders would do with that game. Yeah, that's why, like, tons of people are, like, using different engines to remake 06 in its entirety. Happens to the humans it's, like, no concern of mine. it's insane. Because, like, there's so much potential in that game. So, Shadow still looks like he got laminated. Yeah. It, it, they're, they're still using the Heroes models. I do think they're cleaned up from that game, but the, you can tell that they they were still ripped from that game too, so... They aren't the greatest. Less worried about them and more worried about the humans in this game. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. It was 2005, by the way, folks. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll say this much about the human designs. I think the fact that they're low, they're low poly in this game helps a lot because when they went hyper realistic with them in 06, it just it just went into uncanny territory. Uh, I remember when I put that guy in jail. <laughs> Just rip Sonic one of Sonic's cutscene models from the adventure games. Probably. We must stand united to defend our world against these invaders. I'm disappointed that the president in this game doesn't look like the president from Sonic 06. Sonic X, excuse me. Oh right, yeah. He he has like curly hair and whatnot in that one, doesn't he? It's like a Basically, a more, more heavy set George Bush. Yeah. I just remember the one arc in Sonic X where, like, um, something about power problems. Um, and Sonic, like, like destroys Eggman's satellites. And then it's just, like, now, now the show's Eggman X. That was. X was a weird show. That was interesting. I literally remember what, uh, what, watching the next episode after that, and hoping that the intro would change to Eggman X. That didn't happen, so I'm sad. <laughs> okay, we're I'm just gonna do the neutral path in this stage, because it's the only mission we haven't done here yet. This 
supreme of doing here. Uh, she got stuck. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why she would like go, go into back. this place, but yeah. Suddenly we're back to cartoony nonsense. Yeah. I would like to see more. Like, huh? The black creatures have infiltrated my castle. I'd like you to go and light those giant lanterns. Part of my defenses. Yeah, I, I would like to see more haunted uh, levels in Sonic, because like this and the stages in Heroes are the only ones that come to mind immediately. That was weird. Pumpkin Hill. Oh yeah, Pumpkin Hill. That's oh yeah, the SA2 stages. Um. Hmm. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's weird. Like they, the starting with SA2, they had, they had at least one stage that was more haunted, haunted themed, um, and then, like after this game, they just kind of stopped. Comically large laser guns. Yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, the guns from the Eggman robots are like the most. Over the top, which is pretty cool. It makes sense. Don't let them get away. Press the control stick up to make this thing dive, and then pull back. Oh, to okay, it's in the head. Holding down the A button will let you accelerate. Do you tend to go with invert controls, or like, or do you prefer like not, not having it normal, like having it normal or whatever? Inverted, but only through con only because of conditioning. Yeah, yeah, I can understand that. It's like when I play Insane Trilogy, um, it's, it's, it's convenient because I literally just recorded Crash Two for, um, for C's not too long ago, and I had to immediately change the jetpack controls. So that was kind of a thing, I guess. Psst. It's kind of weird how uh, they made invert controls a thing in the first place. Like, most. A lot of N64 games did it. Um. I don't know. I'm not sure why that became a thing exactly. Thanks to match real pilot controls. Shadow, leave my things alone. No. No. August is having a time of his life recording this. Yeah. Send them. No matter the quality of the game, he's just having a blast. Like, especially... Like, and say what you will about uh, Lost World's, like, actual, like, story quality. Uh, Mike Pollock was, like, really having a blast with that game. Like, he was... You could tell from his performance that he was, like, trying to give it, give it his all. Do you have any fire? Yes. <laughs> So what sort of games have you played? I don't know if I've ever asked you, but... Sonic 2, Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Heroes, Sonic Generations. Okay. Um... I'm not sure... Um... If we're gonna end up doing, like, LP collabs in terms of, like... Um, in terms of, like, Sonic... After this point, so, like, do you wanna... Do, like, a rundown of general opinions with those games. Uh, I won't say my payout stock too because that might get me killed. Um, <laughs> Adventure 2, um, fun for what I played of it, but it's been a very long time since I played it. Fair enough. Heroes, I actually kind of enjoyed it more than Adventure 2, but that might just, because we, uh, might just be because I actually was able to beat one of the campaigns. That's fair. I, 
in some ways, I can agree agree with that, uh, because um, the doctor's got to be this way. Like the whole team based gameplay, I actually enjoy more than any play style in the adventure games. Uh, my issue is just the fact that you have to play the same Perfect. game four times, basically. Um, so I don't know. It's kind of weird. Oh yeah, that's what I'm. That's exact. That's something that Heroes did well for me. I was happy to get away from the mech stages and treasure hunting. Awesome. That's fair. What are you doing here, Shadow Doctor? Also, I, I love how the Chaos Emerald is literally just like a white ball. They hold the secret to my. Enough of this nonsense. The Chaos Emeralds belong to me. All of them. No one gets in my way. Those who uh, do will be destroyed. So stand clear or I Is it just the uh, generations you played just after that? Those black creatures. Um, yes, yeah, only Sonic game I've actually beaten. No, oh, okay. Let me show you the power of my to completion on my own. You know, I didn't even do it. I my brother handled the time eater cuz that thing is horrible. Yeah, as much as that that game's great up to up until that point, which sucks. Uh, I, I, Thank you for that yeah. obvious information, Amy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, it's like a homing shot! Yeah, pretty much. For what it's worth, the 3DS version actually has a really good uh, time here fight. It's like, you have to... It's like a 2D plane, obviously, and you have to avoid a bunch of attacks, and it's really well designed compared to the HD counterpart. I think playing through generations, I think made me realize that I think I prefer 3D Sonic over 2D Sonic. Yeah. So I think the 3D stages were just better designed in general. Yeah, I'd agree with that, honestly. But the I... Chaos Emerald is mine. That is literally just a ball of light. Yeah. What? I don't understand why the Emeralds are so, like, bright in this game. Brighter is everything just really dark. Yeah. What's going on? Oh, this there is... we go. Yeah. Money in a cutscene again. Yeah. yeah. Also, oh, this is um, a cutscene that um, was shown in a previous segment. Um, well, what I mentioned there is like, uh, depending on how you get to this place, the sky will change and be like normal blue or red, or red like it was there. Um, so, I, that's, the that's a thing, I guess. That's, right. that's a really random change, but we'll go over it. Years ago. The Ark? 50 years ago? That's me. <gasps> Shadow, how are, how are you not able to outrun those guys? I, yeah. Uh, Either I, either it's been going on for a while, or um, it's because Maria's with him. I don't know. Sonic is able to run fast while carrying Elise in 06, though. Oh gosh. gosh! Oh yeah, but weird Barbie doll character. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, so I've already done the um, neutral path of this. Um, okay, what, what what do you think we should do? This is the dark route, right? Um, so what, what I can do to get to the, um, these, the, the, um, the, uh, ending we're going to is, um, I can just do, um, the neutral route twice. Or go dark and then hero to go back on the on the right route, or do hero here and then do dark to get to the right stage. So we can do either of either three of these missions. Um, uh, <laughs> this stage sucks. Um, which? Okay, so I for j just for clarification. 
Um, hero is, you have to heal, you have to find 10 scientists and heal them. Dark is kill all the enemies, and neutral is just get to the goal. Um, which I've technically already done, but, um, if you want us to do hero or dark, um, I don't know, what, what do you want, what do you want us to do? What would Maria want you to do? I mean, we'd have to heal the scientists. Do you want to do? Do you want to do that then? This has such compelling eyes. All right then, and there's a the first culprit, I guess. All right, let's get this. Let's do this then. Oh, so we might be here for a while. This is one of the worst stages in the game. <laughs> like, I'm glad you brought me in for this. I I honestly wasn't expecting to uh, re uh, get reach this stage in this playthrough. I always forget where the stage is, but yeah, I guess this is happening right now. Thankfully, a lot of the enemies seem to avoid you in this stage, so that's nice. I'm just not shooting Maria. <laughs> yeah. Imagine this was an escort mission too. Oh yeah. Thankfully, you don't have to worry about Maria dying or something. So. Oh, oh, oh there's the best weapon. Yeah. Oh, the Jarga. Oh, the, the Billy Hatcher. Yeah, I don't actually want to use this right now, but if I find this in like the next stage, I'll pick it up. Um, but you wanna, you wanna use the hill cannon because it means you don't actually, it means you don't have to uh, use one of these hill canisters to heal the scientists. You can just shoot them with this, which is really convenient. Oh boy. Uh, so, you're pretty much just going for a bunch of the same rooms, just desperately trying to find the objective. And then... Um, yeah. I got like I basically snuck that treasure hunting stage into this game. In a way, yeah. Although... Uh, the difference with those is that... I... Although I don't agree with the treasure hunting... Uh, stage complaints. Um, one, one thing I will say is that um, th this this would be like a bad treasure hunting stage to me, where it's like um, there's like nothing interesting to find, and everything looks the same. So like, if you have trouble navigating, stop like meteor herd and whatnot. Just trying to imagine finding like free emerald pieces in this place just sounds like a whole mess. Like, that's. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. The Ark is now under our control. Get him! God. So, do you have any like uh, topics or anything you want to talk about? Because this might take a bit. I had a possibly prophetic dream today. Oh, really? I was supposed to get up around noon. I dozed back off to sleep and I dreamed of an E3 press conference. Oh, man. Nintendo was doing a stage show again for some reason. And the first thing I see is Halo 3 on the Switch, and only Halo 3. Huh. Text my friend, hey, are you seeing this? He doesn't respond. Then Halo 3 segues into Master Chief and Smash Brothers. Oh man, that would be, that would have been nuts. And it, it segues into like, um, that part ends and then we get like a three to five minutes concert piece of the Fire Emblem theme. 
which I believe is the most believable part of this dream. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and then this press conference ends with a bunch of Mario costume mascots flooding, rushing the stage. Hmm. Also, this press conference is like only 20 minutes long and no new games are shown. Oh, wow, that sucks. It's just crazy enough to sound true. Yeah. The, the drought is starting to feel, is trying to affect us in our subconscious. This let's play gets put up and there's our been there direct. I'd hope so. I, uh, this is, when this comes out, it'll be, it'll be like, like, at least April. Um, so if we don't have a direct by the time this comes out, I'd be very terrified. No, because I have amnesia. <laughs> oh god. Okay, fine. Kill them, I guess. Oh my god. She just looks different in every appearance she has. Yeah, they like changed to play an anime art uh, style for this game for some reason. Oh my god, this stage. I don't know where I'm going. This is this is great. <laughs> I'm I'm curious about that cracked wall. Gonna have to go the long way. Cause they couldn't have just placed a dynamite pack over there. No, no. Don't shoot me. I can't, like, jump over... Can I jump over that with the... I, I don't know. I'll, tr I'll try Enemy. it. There he is. Unless there's, like, a... We're about to waste 10 minutes of your lives, folks. Yeah. Here, I got some popcorn. Is, is Maria invincible in, these, in this level? Uh, all the team members pretty much are. They can get hurt, but... It runs on Tails logic in Sonic 2, where well, it, it just doesn't matter. I just have to get shot, fall down, and just get up. Yeah. Dang it. I just, I just want an, want an exp explosive weapon. Okay. The Ark is now under our control. I won't forget it. Won't forget this. Yeah, so you can heal the gun soldiers after you knock them down, I guess. You do because you never actually kill them, um, and they just on your they're on your side at that point. Oh god, this doesn't look doable. Um, do I really want to die? Have to restart. I don't know where, where when I last hit a checkpoint. Do we really want to try this? That looks too far. Cause this, yeah, this jump is like really pathetic. Uh. Mm. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm not All gonna. Right. Do, I'm Toss not, it. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. That's too risky. Roger that. You I see a life up there. You. Okay, the search continues. Shadow is fleeing with a civilian. Roger that. Don't let him get away. Ah! Oh, hi. There aren't any new units nearby. Oh, there. 
It's a heal unit. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to get out that place. I, I guess not. <laughs> Why? Uh, stop home and attack. Ra home and attacking random things. Okay. There we go. Random keys. Oh, three more somewhere. I like how they just have a random single ring just caged up. Yeah, go away. Okay. That sh shouldn't mean that there's one up here then. Go away. Okay, I think I might be mistaken the whole, like, enemies not attacking you for the other stage, where you have to hunt down the artificial chaos. Um, in that stage, they are completely passive towards you because you aren't a point of it. You, they are, you aren't the, um objective at that point, so they just kind of ignore you. Thrilling gameplay. Oh my gosh, does that song of guys have knives? Oh! Damn it! No! No! Okay. That's close. The thing is, um... Oh god, I'm... The... This rank is gonna be horrible because the, the the way the the way it works is um is you're doing a hero mission dark dark points will end up minusing your overall score and vice versa for the dark for the dark mission with hero points so you know killing gun soldiers obviously builds up your dark points. So the fact that they're constantly shooting at you during the hero mission in this just it's just kind of annoying because you 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 can't really can't really kill you can't really deal with them if you want to get a good rank. So uh, fun. Hi. How has life been? Um, there he is. could be better. Um, but it's going alright. This is for my friend. Get ready to fire. Uh, oh, it's two of them. Nice. Okay. Still one more person okay, I'll, I'll take that. I'll say this, um, I do think the, um, I do think the Dark Mission is the worser of the two, so, um, I guess, I, I guess it's good that we're not doing that. Is something worse than this? Yeah, uh, cause I, I mean, this is already really bad, but like, like, we're trying to kill, find all 60 gun soldiers. In, uh, in this in this level where everything looks the same, it's just how. Like I, it's very easy to get lost here. Uh, just oh hi. Oh thank goodness. Never again. I will protect the people of the Ark. Turn around, Maria. I do not not want to see your face right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. The campfire's 2003 character art. Yeah. Just bug-eyed freaks. Yeah. <laughs>